Hello guys and welcome to my new YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Olivia, but you can call me shortly Liv. Now, I know that most of you probably have come from my main YouTube channel, which I have, and if you... If so, then thank you so much for following me up also on this YouTube channel too. In fact, I just opened this YouTube channel and you can check it out over here in which it says join August 4, 2022. Well, guys, I'm really happy for opening a new YouTube channel and starting a new journey with you, I'm going to give you some great content over here. Now, for those who have been part of my main YouTube channel, I would mostly concentrate on a particular niche and I would create videos on that particular niche in which I'm not going to discover to you, but if you are curious to know which is my main YouTube channel, you can ask me on the comment section down below and I'm going to respond to it and tell you so if you want to you can also check out my other YouTube channel but here we are going to be more like not that specific like in the first YouTube channel that I had because on YouTube you can open YouTube channels and concentrate on a particular niche and do videos particularly for that niche specifically specifically but here we are going to be more free so I'm going to give you guys the latest knowledge just like I have put it over here so you're going to learn different things but particular in this video we're going to concentrate on a very interesting thing and that is called the most well-known design tool in which I'm going to reveal to you later on but first I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for being part of my new YouTube channel and I would really appreciate if you could show us some support by first subscribing to this YouTube channel because as I can see as you can see by yourself I have zero subscribers and I need some subscribers to work out a little bit and of course to post other content so I would really appreciate if you could show me a little bit of support and also give a like to this video because I truly believe you're going to enjoy to it and you're going to learn a very helpful information today you probably have heard about this design tool that I'm going to represent to you but anyways I'm going to give you a very full detail information of it so in this way you are going to learn more now if you're wondering why am I doing this why am I giving information to people for free well I just love this this is my passion if you have a passion for YouTube then guys don't think about it twice go and open a YouTube channel and of course do videos on a particular niche or for free to post different content until you reach out a larger audience and in that way you are going to see how great it is to be part of this big platform like YouTube itself. I'm also going to post to you different contents related to YouTube, how you can open a YouTube channel, how you can manage your YouTube channel, how you can grow and many different videos that you are going to see throughout on my newest um, YouTube that I have opened over here. Now guys, for as a first video, this is really long. This is something that it's required from YouTube. So your first video should be a little bit long and it should be like an intro or a representation of the YouTube itself. So this is why I'm trying to explain to you first why, why am I doing this and why are you watching this long video, which I hope you are going to enjoy it. So we can stay here and talk for hours and hours for myself, but I'm not going to do that. So don't worry. I'm going to jump over to one of the biggest design tools that I have ever seen before or if I have ever worked before. I um, design many things with this design tool, not only YouTube thumbnails or a YouTube channel banner, 
planners or different things that you can find over there but i also use it for many different reasons it's so helpful it's amazing it's free it's worldwide available it has so many features and benefits too now guys, I'm going to reveal to you because I cannot take this anymore. I want to show you right away to what I'm to what am I referring to. So I'm talking about Canva itself. You probably have heard about Canva. Like I truly believe that once in your lifetime you have heard about Canva. You probably have heard mentioning during a conversation with your friends or if someone on your school has mentioned it because everyone can use Canva. Starting over from teenagers who create projects for schools, for students in universities, for teachers for creating different projects for their students and also for business people and also for social media platforms, people who are using like vloggers and also bloggers of different people like they're trying to do something on social media that they can use canva which is like really helpful and really good now if you don't believe me when i say to you that this is one of the best design tools that exist out there well don't believe me believe google then so if we are going to make a small research on google and type best free design tool over here you are going to check out seven of the best free design tools for recruiters and you are going to see on the first place Canva itself. So Canva, it is one of the best known free graphic design tools is like, of course, the first at the list because first of all it's completely for free guys and it offers so many options well in fact i repeatedly have said to you that canva it's for free but in fact it's not 100 percent for free but i'm going to explain to you later on what does it includes on canva free and canva pro 2 and how much you can pay for canva pro and some other hacks and tricks that you need to know and how you can also get canva pro without actually paying this is something like a small secret that i have discovered for myself and i wanted to also show it to you guys so you can have it as an information now now I, you probably are convinced that canva is the best so i don't need to talk anymore and explain to you and i repeat to you that canva is the best because now you also have the information from the google itself that it says that it's in the first on the list so let's go over to canva i haven't signed up i haven't logged in nothing at all because first we need to check it a little bit what is this design tool let's say that we don't have any information at all for canva because i want to help out all of the people not only those who know about canva but also those people who probably have never heard before for canva so let's start from the zero and the zero will be explaining to you about a little bit of information like a general information and a general idea for canva so first, you're going to see over here that with Canva, which is really easily and really good, you're going to engage your audience, build your brand and create amazing visual content together. No design experience needed. Now, you probably have heard before saying to you that if you want to work like a graphic designer, you should at least do like a course, follow up a course or do the school of graphic designer or read some books or to have experience and things like this. You probably have heard these words many times. I have heard those words by myself too. I always would say to myself, don't try out to do designs because you haven't studied for this and you haven't followed up a course about this. So you don't know anything about graphic design and you cannot do this job. Well, in fact, with Canva, everything it's like really easily. You can 
work over here like a professional and i can guarantee that to you because canva it's going to help you out a lot guys so if you ever had the desire to become a graphic designer like me but you didn't had like where to start or where to practice yourself well canva it's the best option here you're going to check out that you can become a real professional just like i have become in like one month month i discovered so many options that canva has and offers to you now you know why i started this first from zero guys because now this came to my mind and i wanted to tell you i know that there are people out there who know canva and they probably have used like once in their life for different reasons for school projects or also to create a youtube thumbnail or i don't know for different reasons that they probably had but still they might have just used the simple functions that they generally see when they open canva but i don't think that they have went deeper than that so to discover everything that canva offers to them so this is why i'm trying to do this video from the beginning so from the zero so in this way even for those people who have used canva even for once or twice or three times or probably they are using it for like one year but still they don't know what different tips canva can offers to you or features or benefits so this is why i'm going to start this from zero and reveal to you things that you probably never knew that canva had so prepare yourself because even i personally have used canva before but I didn't know that it had like amazing features there. And once I discovered, I was like, why didn't I had someone to explain to me like what offers Canva? Because it's so good. It's not just simply a graphic design tool. It's more than that. You can create here everything. And when I say to you everything, everything, like you can use this not only for your school projects, but on but also it's going to come in very helpful hand during the future if you're going to work with social media marketing and also in your work office because canva it's everywhere guys it's going to help you out it's going to be on the spotlight every time so once you have learned how canva functions then you are going to be a real expert. So just follow this, all of the steps that I'm going to explain on this video. Just listen carefully to everything that I'm going to say. And when you finish up this whole video, you are going to be really good on this. And then you can go and try it out. And you can see that it truly it's amazing as a site. Now let's have a look into a little bit more about Canva. Now you are going to see ready-made designs with thousands of professional templates, images and quality content to choose from. Get a head start on bringing your best ideas and work to life. Build for teamwork. You can invite people to edit when you or set your whole team up to manage brand assets, leave feedback, get approvals and scale your visual content. Too good not to share, whatever you make in Canva, let it shine in the real world. Present, download, schedule, share or print your designs. Templates for absolutely anything. Customize an office template or design something more personal like an invitation. So this is why when I told you guys that you can find everything on Canva. Create your best work together. Try Canva for Teams, the all-in-one solution for teams of all sizes to create and collaborate together. Team folders help you stay organized, store brand assets and manage content. This is why I told you that this is not only very helpful for students because I know that the general idea and the general concept that people have for Canva, it's that it comes in hand mostly to students but no 
it comes in hand also for people who are working in an office because you can create team folders in which you can keep organized all of the designs that you are going to create with Canva. You can plan, create, schedule and publish your social media posts directly from Canva. Real-time collaboration across countries, companies and departments. Building comments to communicate, keep content moving and resolve suggestions in real time. A perfect feed for everyone. Now guys, I repeatedly said that Canva is for free and I'm going to explain a little bit to you what do I mean when I say it's free when actually you have to pay some money if you need more templates and anything else so this is the difference now Canva free for anyone wanting to design anything on your own or with others no design experience required and it's completely for free I'm going to show you what you can get from features from Canva free and what you can get from Canva pro and also the Canva for Teams, I actually don't have this, but I think it's really easily too. I have worked in my office with Canva for Teams and it's very helpful too. So I'm going to show you all of three of these so you can check out in more details how do they work and what do they offer and what is the best for you to decide in the end. So guys, first we need to check a little bit over here all of the sponsors of Canva. We have over here HubSpot, Sony Music, Salesforce, Skyscanner, Reddit and Dano. And if you scroll down a little bit, you are going to check out the best traits you might not know about. So first you can got, get a desktop app. Now, you probably don't know this information and me neither had any idea until I discovered accidentally. You can download as an application Canva to your laptop. Not only to your laptop, but also you can use it on your phone. This is one of the best features of Canva, which I love it because I can finish up the work by anywhere, not only by using my computer, but I can do that on each place that I might be. So let's see a little bit Canva for compute for a laptop, let's say Canva for laptop app and let's see if it is easy to download. Yes, as you can see, they give it over here, Canva for Windows desktop app. You just have to click on this and it says download for free. So it's completely for free, the download downloadation part. Just click on start download over here. And after doing that, it's going to set up really quickly over here after it's finished up the download part. So I'm gonna leave this later on. Now, as you can see, you can see some features over here. You can double click the download Canva file to start installing Canva. So it explains basically how you can start over the application. Drag and drop installation will begin and the app will launch when finished. Add Canva to your dock. Drag the Canva icon from your tray to the task bar. Now you're only one click away from designing anything. So having Canva to your laptop can be really great too. I usually use the web design or the web version because it's like how am I used to. <laughs> it's not like it's something wrong with the application. I just love the web version but you just needed to have it as an information and know it that you can also have it as an a desktop app canva but not only as an a desktop app but as i told you canva is for phone too so if you type canva for phone you can check it out that it really works out also for android and of course on the is phones too as you can check it out by yourself over here from this photo, Canva is open to your phone and you can do different edits too. So if you are like traveling or going somewhere, but you need to do like a small like, um, let's say design, then you can do it really quickly just by opening Canva to your phone and do all of the 
like designs that you need to do and finish them and voila you have done the work without actually needing your laptop at all so this is a great feature that canva has that i don't truly believe that other design tools offer this also business people will love this application um they can see how teams of all sizes are using Canva to manage their workflows and create together. Then they can also give it like um, precisely an idea or how good they are and improve themselves. They can make presenting easy. Take the stress out of preparing and presenting with our go-to decks. So this is amazing too. If you're working in a big company and you're trying to make like a presentation, then you can create really like good presentation professional ones with Canva. Even though that most of the people probably think that Canva is for um, posts on social media, it's more than that. And this is why I'm trying to tell you that you don't really know how Canva works. Because even neither I didn't know, but now that I have learned, I've come up to you with this video to explain everything so you can learn them too. Now... Um, you can see the features over here, the curve text generator, photo effects, image enhancer, add frames to photos, add text to photos, online video recorder, video trimer, convert videos to mp4 and some other features that you can check it out by yourself. You can explore design ideas, custom prints, font pairing, colors, color wheel, color palette generator, blog, and apps. So you can learn a little bit more of this. But we are going to get in those details. Now here you also have the option of downloading for on iPhone or Android, Windows, or Mac too. If you want to know more about the company of Canva, just go over here and check it out by yourself. But now we are going to pass this video to other things. And that would be how you can become part of Canva. And guys, I told you that we are going to become part of Canva first by just using it for free. So I'm just going to let you know what features you can profit from without actually paying any money or investing any money and then later on i'm going to make a difference so you can tell and think to yourself it is if it is worth it to invest any money on canva or not so you can decide by yourself too this this is why i'm going to make this small comparison between a canva for free and a canva pro so to use Canva, and you need to sign up, of course. You can use Canva even without actually signing up, in fact. If you go over here and click, for say, a flyer maker, you can click on that and you can start designing a flyer really quickly and really easily without actually uh, creating an account. Okay, that didn't work out with me. I don't know why, because usually Canva gives you the... Uh, a possibility to design something even without actually um, signing up but i don't know why it's not allowing me today anyways that's not a really important information so to create an account you can click on this icon over here sign up and then you can continue with google which is so fast and easy and you can save all of your work over here and if you have like a gmail for your work or for your school I would truly recommend to you to do that, guys. Or you can continue with Facebook or you can continue with email or continue another way. You can decide how you can do that. Or you can sign up with your work email. Now, there is a big difference when you sign up with your work email or when you sign up also with Canva for education. And I'm going to show you later on what is that and what good features it offers for students too. Now, I'm going to show you how does it look Canva when you sign up and create an account. I'm just going to click on continue with Google and I'm going to put, of course, my information over here and I'm going to sign up directly. Now, um, Canva is going to make me a question, which is, this is like the general question they make to everyone. What will you be using Canva for? 
they um, do this question because they want to recommend to you as good as templates as they can related to what you're trying to use Canva. So you don't get tired by trying to discover different templates. You just need to tell them for what reason you're using Canva and that they're going to give you suggestions of different templates related to the reason that you have opened it, uh, this account. So for personal reasons uh so you have you are here to make everything that you want to uh, i would usually recommend to you if you don't have any idea for what reason you are opening then personal would be a great choice because you can have access to everything and they're going to give you general templates of different kinds and you can discover Small business is, of course, for those who have just opened a business and they want to create some great, good graphic designs projects for their business. As I told you at the beginning of this video, this is really good for teachers too. And here you can create really great projects for your students, really good presentations to empower them. Nonprofit or charity large company or student so this is why i also mentioned many times the word student because you probably have the general idea that this is only for student but now you can see that it's not only for student people this is for everything even for large companies too so do not underestimate this graphic design tool because it's amazing and it's bigger than just used for teachers or for students too now guys, I'm going to click personal because we're just trying it out and we're going to see different things. So I'm going to click on personal. So here you are going to get this idea and let's say a suggestions basically from Canva to use Canva Pro for for free it's like a free trial that they give you give it to you as an opportunity when you open your first account so in this way you will have the chance to try it out and decide if you want to have it as a canva pro or just canva simple for free and guys i would truly recommend to you trying this free trial because well, first of all, it's for free and you have the possibility to also discover yourself in details how good Canva Pro can be to you and how very helpful can be. And also you can discover if you truly need Canva Pro or you can um, you can get enough from Canva free. So if you need to be more productive or more powerful with your designs, then I truly recommend to you Canva Pro. Uh, to unlock this, you have to pay money, of course. Here is what you get from Canva Pro. So this is just a general idea because we are going to get into details later on. 100 million plus premium photos, videos and elements. 3,000 plus premium phones. 600, 10,000 premium templates created with ease thanks to magic resize, background remover and premium animations. Stay organized with brand kits and content planner, extra folders and 1TB storage. That's a really big storage, guys. So it's not going to be filled up that easy. <laughs> so you need to create a lot of projects to fill up that storage. You can cancel anytime this free trial. So don't worry, it's not going to steal any money from you. They will remind you three days before that your trial has ended up. And this is for three 30 days, sorry, for like a month. And usually other programs would not really give you this opportunity of trying out Canva Pro for like one month. So having access to Canva Pro for one month, it's really great opportunity and I will tr truly recommend to you guys. So try out this uh, free trial and get a general idea by yourself too. So this is how Canva looks when we have logged in and created our account. And in fact, this is how it's going to also look when you pay for Canva Pro. <laughs> but you're going to see the difference later on. 
uh, you can play with Canva over here, create just a blank page and discover yourself all of the options, but that would be a little bit hard for you. Now let's get to the a little bit more details, guys. So first, let's discover what Canva has as options over here. Well, first, you are going to check out that you are using this for personal because we decided before the reason why we needed Canva and it was personal. So this is how it's going to show up when you click on this. And also it shows to you that you are using Canva for free. And only one person is using this Canva. Because you can put other people and become them part to your Canva. Yes, this is a great option too for workers, for big companies. They can put all of their workers in just one Canva that they open. And they can pay for Canva Pro. So the company can pay for Canva Pro. And they can give it to the workers by just becoming part of one team now here you're also going to check out that you can try canva pro and click on that so here you can check out also if you are active with canva pro or you are just using it for free so here you have the home here you have the uh, templates and here it's going to be your project so as soon as you start creating your projects you are going to have all you have all the projects in one place you also have this option of shared with you so different people that are using Canva can share di different things with one another so let's say that your friend is using Canva and they're creating a design but they didn't have time to finish it up so they're going to um, send it to you and share with you and they can do it really easily in fact with the options that Canva gives and you can finish up the project and give it to them back. Now, you also have the option over here of templates, but I'm not going to touch that because we are going to check it out later on together and see um, what templates Canva offers. So guys, you have the sections over here of your projects. The perched one, the stirred one, the uploads one. So at the upload section are going to be all of those pictures and images that you have uploaded from other places on Canva. And I'm going to show you guys where you can find some great content like pictures and videos to upload to Canva and make your designs as more professional as you can. Now, if you go over to folders over here, you can create folders for yourself. Let's say that you want to be more organized. Then what you can do is create folders. For example, if you are like a social media manager, then you can separate your work in like this. Instagram stories, Instagram posts, Facebook stories, Facebook posts. And you have all of the designs uh, put it in different folders and organized like that. So when you need, for example, need like an Instagram story, you know where to find it to the folder of Instagram story, of course. And this is going to help you out a lot now to get messy on here. You can see the tools like the brand, the content uh, planner, the dis you can discover other apps that Canva provides to you. And you can also see the option of creating a team over here. So when you create a team, you can put all of your workers, let's say, or the teacher can create a team and put all of the students of the class in one team and there they can share different things with one another. So when the teacher posts something on Canva, their students can check it out. So that's a great option that Canva offers to you. Now, you also have the option of launching the Canva app. So if you want to get directly to the Canva app, you can just click on that option. And here you also have the trash, which will be all of the designs, images and videos that you probably have deleted. And you have it there. Now let's go back to the home and let's see a little bit over here what do we have. 
So Canva asks that question, what will you what will you design? But you probably don't have any idea yet what you're going to design. Well, don't worry, because you are going to get those ideas later on. So first, they give you some suggestions for, mu- for you. And you can see that those suggestions are basically for videos, presentations, Instagram posts, posters, and many things. Now you can click on presentations over here and you are going to see some ideas like presentations, talking presentations, mobile first presentations, presentations, brainstorm presentations and many more. If you scroll down a little bit, you are going to see templates for presentations and those are separated on presentations and also you can see the size of the Uh, let's say the design so it's in landscape in our case you have also talking presentation mobile first presentation so these are the designs that you are going to fit on the screen of the phone presentations which have this size brainstorm presentations too so as you can see they offer to you a bunch of different designs that you can use now guys these are only the designs that you can use for free because if you want to use canva pro then it's going to be shown up to you more options that you can choose for yourself now let's have a look a little bit to other option and that is the most well-known social media itself I know that many people, those who are working as social media manager, are using this option and they're loving it. You have for Instagram and Facebook too. For Instagram, you have Instagram post, Instagram story, Instagram ad, Instagram reel, animated Instagram post, Instagram story ad. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can check out all of the templates for Instagram that you can choose and you use them and make some great designs too. You also have for Facebook, which is the same as Instagram. You also have the video option over here and you can see different size of videos that you can choose that can fit perfectly for videos on landscape, Facebook videos, reels and many more, TikTok videos and everything. Um, So guys, we so all of these options but you probably were wondering to yourself why do i need so many things because the main point of our video was using canva for youtube right (laughs) well i wanted to explain to you all of these great benefits that canva offers so guys i want to create a design with you with canva free and also canva pro So in this way, you can make a little bit of a difference between them and decide for yourself which is the best. So I told you that you can create over here whatever you want to. So when I say whatever you want to, whatever. So whatever comes to your mind. But we're going to be focused today on YouTube. So we're going to click on YouTube over here and we're going to create a design related to YouTube. Now guys, not only Canva gives you the opportunity to create YouTube thumbnails, but here you can also use the YouTube video editor. Now Canva, it's not only a graphic design, not only you can find a bunch of templates for free, but also Canva is a free video editor that makes it really easily for you to edit videos. Boost your video views today with click winning thumbnails, unique channel art, cool graphics and engaging video templates so not only youtube thumbnails but also many other options that can help out to grow your youtube channel so what you are going to do is let's have a look how you can create a youtube thumbnail which was as an option over here now if we click youtube thumbnail templates you're going to check out some youtube thumbnails templates now guys if you want to you can make the research also like this so go over to the search 
bar over here and you can search for YouTube thumbnails. Click on that and it's going to show up to you all of the templates related to YouTube. So you can choose one of these and decide if it is good or not. Let's have a look. So as you can see, Canva over, over here can show up to you also those who are with payment so you are going to also check out templates in which you have to pay money in order to use them canva is going to give you the permission to use those templates but you are going to have the watermark of canva so yes of course you have the right to use all of the templates even those who are pro even those that you have to pay money but still you're going to see the water mark but anyways let's check out a little bit those um, youtube thumbnails templates that we are free to use so those templates are this one over here i'm going to click let's say on this template so as you can see this is for free and we can use this click on customize this template as soon as you do that you're going to be directed to this page which is basically the place that you're going to edit your design and it's going to show up to you all of these options that you can change your design and make it as you want to of course on those categories that canva allows you because some options are for canva pro and you cannot use them and i'm going to let you know which are those options and what benefits do they have so first you can change the templates over here so even though you decided for this template you still have the option of changing it over here let's say that you want to be focusing on a particular niche and it's so much better let's say for example you want to focus in on the travel niche so you click on travel over here and you can see a bunch of different niche related to traveling and you can spot which one are for free and which are for Canva Pro because it has the icon put it over here just like you can see. And this design over here, it's for free and I'm going to use it. Oh, sorry, this is not for free. It's Canva Pro. So as you can see, even though the design might be like for free, still when you open it you can check out that some pictures are for canva pro and you cannot use them so we are going to leave this and check out which one it's completely for free so this one over here i think it's completely for free yes and this one too i guess no this is for canva pro oh, okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm going to focus on this one over here which is completely for free and it doesn't have the uh, watermark of canva so after choosing the template and as i told you you can just write down the niche that you are trying to be focusing and you can see a bunch of different suggestions for you and choose them then down below you have the elements now at the elements section you can choose whatever you want to lines and shapes if you click on that you are going to see a bunch of different shapes and lines that you can choose and put to your design also you have different graphics too that you can use now i think guys that some of these are with money so you need canva pro to use all of these features you also have stickers and i don't know if you have the right to use all of them but i think yes you have the right to use some stickers um also you can find a lot of other options and one of them which i really love is the frame too so at the frame section you are going to see a bunch of different suggestions for you like let me just delete this because it's <laughs> really annoying and here you are going to check out different frames in which you can put pictures so let's choose a particular frame so let's move this and let's say i need another frame and i'm going to decide for uh, this frame 
so i need this frame over here i'm going to remove all of this and i'm going to leave it like this so i decided for this frame and i put it like this now i can change also the other designs let's say i don't want this so you can just select them and click delete just like this so it's going to be really easily i don't need this one over here too so i'm going to delete them too and this one you can also put them like this and it's not going to be shown up to the to the design anymore so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna remove also this too so i have this design over here and i can change also the color of the lines and shapes so just click on the color over here and you can put whatever you want to you can also change the color of the text and also you can add text to this option just by clicking on this and you can also choose a different style of text of course these are for canva pro so you cannot use them so i'm going to put this small box over here latest travel video um amazing places let's say we need to put over here amazing places and you can change the color because it's the same as the background and it doesn't look good so we are going to remove a little bit this so we can make it as good as possible as a design. Now guys, I'm just giving this as an example. So this is not the best design you probably have watched before. But I'm just trying to show you the features that Canva for free offers to you. Which are great too, as you can check out by yourself. Also here, you can upload files for from yourself so let's say that you need some pictures and you can find pictures also in canva and i needed to mention this to you so just click on photos over here just like i did on the three dots of more at the photo section over here you can choose whatever you want to all of these pictures over here you can also search millions of photos and it's going to be shown up to you let's say that we need some pictures of india so just click India and for example, we can put India over here on the background and you can put India over here. And as you can see, we made this for like through like one minute or two minutes. We created this design, which probably might not be the best that you have seen, but still it's really good and might attract the attention of the people. You can change the colors if you want to and decide for whatever you need. So as I told you, you can change the text and also you can change the shape of the text, which I'm going to show you right away now. As you can see, you have a bunch of different ones, but some of these are with Canva Pro as you can check it out by yourself but most of them are for free as you can see guys so don't worry because most of the options are for free not with canva pro with canva pro you are going to check out that only you had the freedom to choose some more elements but nothing else so canva for free it's really good too not only canva pro but i'm going to show you canva pro and reveal to you how good designs can be also with canva pro now guys you also have the resize option over here which we cannot use it because it's only for canva pro and i think this is one of the best designs uh, one of the best features that canva has that i really use it very often so as i told you you can also upload files to yourself in, even though canva can give you like thousands and millions of photos still you have the options of choosing files from your laptop and if you need some suggestions where you can find different videos for free and pictures to use then just go over to pexels.com and here you are going to find a bunch of different images stock images and videos too that you can download for free and use and upload the files over here you also have the option of recording yourself live there and put it immediately to canva so you can create also videos you can create posts you can create whatever you want to but 
we are specifically concentrating on these types of designs so as you can see i'm trying to create this thumbnail now guys when you create a thumbnail you need to do the words as big as possible because people would have it really difficult to read it so i'm going to make this bigger and make it as simple for people to read it when they will check it out because thumbnails are really important they attract the attention of the people so when you try to create a thumbnail try to make it as big as possible the text so they will not have any difficulty to read it so let's say USA to India should be much bigger. I don't think we need this. So I'm going to delete it. Now let's just leave USA to India over here. And we, are, we can make it this wide too because it looks good. So this is the simple design that I created. You can leave it like this and simple i'm just trying to show you the features that canva has so please don't judge my design as i told you i'm not trying to do the best work for now i'm just trying to show you what you can do with canva for free and what you can do with canva pro so you can decide if it is good to pay money or if it is just only good to use it for free so guys some other options that you are going to find on more over here are styles and also videos that you can search up and find a lot of options but you don't really need videos for youtube thumbnails so i'm not going to get through to that you can put the background whatever you want to you can choose the color over here and put it to the background or you can choose four different folders like here you have all of your designs those that you have purchased those who are shared with you and those that you have decided that are the best designs that you need to use them and you can stare a design when you watch it let's say that you want to use it for the next time you just click on the three dots over here and then click the star so now you will have it at this folder that i show you so you can use it on other times so you will not lose it as a template so guys i think you now have a general idea for canva for free so how you can use it, what features it offers for you, how you can choose a template, how you can choose different elements, how you can upload different files, how you can put text, change the size of the text, the colors, and also how you can put photos and videos, whatever you want to, how you can change the style, how you can put a different background, and many other information. I think it's enough because you probably got the main idea of canva for free so now let's have a look a little bit to canva pro now guys i need to log in to my account for canva pro so i will be right back to you as soon as i sign up with canva pro now guys i just logged in to my account as a canva pro just to give it a general idea what it offers more to you so if you go to the show menu, you can check it out that this is like my Canva Pro and it doesn't show up to be the option of uh, like being part of Canva Pro. Now let's go over and create a design. Let's create a YouTube thumbnail and we're going to make a difference between this design that I created and with this one over here that I'm going to create to you. So let's have a look to the uh, options that you have as a Canva Pro. So first, let's go over to the templates and check out for the same niche of travel. And let's see what we can decide with Canva Pro. And as you can see, we have more option. So the options are different compared to the first one. So here, whatever you decide, you can uh, let's say use it for yourself too 
I'm going to choose this thumbnail over here because I think it's really good and attracts the attention of the people. 10 great ideas for beach resorts. Now I'm just going to change a little bit this over here, the size of this and make it much smaller and make it much bigger this little picture over here and i truly love the shape of these images which you don't have it as an option with canva for free so you can make the the shape of this only with canva pro now guys let's go over to the elements and let's check out a little bit what elements do we have you can search up whatever you want to you can search up for heart for let's say cat um let's say for example you want to search up for mm, flowers so just type over here flowers and it's going to be shown up a bunch of different flowers for you and you don't have any restrictions to use any of them so you can use freely all of them you have frames the same as canva for free uh, different graphics uh, videos audio and many more i don't think that the audio option gave you like anything on canva for free so you can use it only with canva pro at the uploads options you also had the exact same thing then over here guys at the text you can check out that all of these texts that before on canva for free we didn't had the access over here you can cha change different text you can choose whatever you want to from this text and decided to put it over here let's say i need this text and i want to put this text down below so i can put like great ideas i can put it like this great ideas and I'm gonna make it like this and now I'm going to change it a little bit so let's say we need to separate this you can also change the size and make it like letter spacing and everything at this option over here which I think you also have it with canva for free so it's not something new um, so you can create whatever design you want to and you can use these text ideas which they have created for you already created for you and you can use them now let's go a little bit down here you can change the photos and at the photo section it's the same as canva for free in fact now you only have new audio and also logos too which you didn't have that now with all of these options that you sew by yourself, you can decide whatever you want to. Now guys, you also have some filters over here that you can choose the language and also the color of the templates you want to and change the designs. Now the best option which I love is the resize. If you change your mind, let's say you create a really good design and you download it as a thumbnail but later on you might want to use it as an instagram story or facebook post what you can do is just click on instagram story and click on resize over here and it's going to be resized now if you want to go back to youtube thumbnail then you can click on that and it's going to be um uh, go again to the size of youtube thumbnail now you can just select all of this and resize it and put it back as they were now these are the options that you have also you have the possibility of choosing different templates and some other options on elements which you didn't really have with canva for free but guys in general canva pro and canva for free don't really have a big big difference so still you can make some really good cool designs even if you used canva for free which i'm going to go back right away now now i am back again to canva for free 
So guys, as I told you, you don't have a big difference between Canva Pro and Canva for free, but you can decide whatever you want to. I would truly suggest to you to use a Canva for Pro. Now, I'm we have come to that part of the video that I promised to you that I will reveal how you can use Canva Pro for free. Now, if you are a student, this is only for students. So if you are a student and let's say you are you need Canva because of the school or a job, it doesn't matter. If you have the email that a university has given to you, then you can use it on Canva. Just write down Canva for education. And after doing that, you are going to see this um how to use canva for education and if you click on that you are going to be directed to this page of canva that it's not normally open up to you when you open and go to canva.com so you need to go to canva.com education in order to see all of these features now they're going to ask you if you are the teacher if you are a school the school director or you are just a student so in our case we are just a student and you are going to click on that so what you will have to do you just need to click on get started and as soon as you do that you are going to be directed to a page they are going to require to you the email of your university they didn't require to me because i'm verified already so what you do is just the email of your university and you can get canva pro this is how i got my canva pro and i'm using it to myself and you can do the same thing as i did too so guys i think we have covered up everything for canva so you can use Canva not only for creating amazing designs for YouTube thumbnails that you can attract the attention of the people for whatever you are trying to make your videos on, of course, YouTube. So you can create really good thumbnails because thumbnails play such a big role when someone watches the video on YouTube. They just get attracted by the thumbnail. So thumbnails are such a big click back. So you can just use it, this Canva, all of the features to attract the attention of the people. And of course, get whatever you are trying to get. And of, of course, getting clicks to your videos, first of all. <laughs> so when you put a really good thumbnails, people are going to be curious and know more what you're trying to show them to your video and they are going to click it and watch it. So with Canva, with the help of Canva, you can create amazing thumbnails too. Now guys, I want to thank you for staying so long and listen to everything that I explained to you. Please feel free to subscribe and also give a like to this video. And thank you so much for watching the video and being part of my new YouTube channel. And see you on my later videos.